It's now time to design your bridge. So open up West Point Bridge Designer and we can close the tip of the day, create a new one. And this just shows the requirements. We're going over a river, there's the height, there's the width. And no, we don't have a contest code, so just keep clicking next. Now, here's where you need to um, make some selection. You're gonna have to make a choice here on what you wanna do. So you can either choose a 20 meter height um, and standard abutments, so that's your total length there. You need to note the cost here, 72,500. Or you can choose a 24 meter with arch abutments. And that makes the bridges uh, approximately the same span, which is what we want for our stress tester. So, and that's a four meter height. So that's your first choice you have to make. Do you wanna make arch abutments so you can put um, stress? Do you wanna do arch abutments so you can put um, beams and members underneath the bridge or just the standard at 20 meter? And then um, there's no abutments to sort of brace up against. So I'm gonna choose this one here. And then your last thing you need to um, select is, we're gonna choose high strength concrete and the centered loading. Centered loading, because that's where we're gonna pull down with the stress tester. And high strength concrete, um, just so that the deck doesn't um, um, affect our design too much just by its weight, because we aren't even gonna have a deck on there. So um, high strength is thinner and it's less, um, less weight. So um, you need to keep in mind the overall site cost, because that's going to affect your overall score for design. And once we have this, then you can place these little points right here. And so I can, these are all joints. These are all places where I can place some conjoining members. So if I drag this all the way across, just put supports underneath the deck, then you can see it's labeled them over here. And if I connect all these, so right now um, I have sort of a Warren type truss system with these, you know, these triangles, equilateral triangles. And if I continue that along, then I have, uh, it identifies all the members right here. Um, I'm going to load one up so you can kind of see an example of one. And um, this one actually was set up at original height. Once we have some sort of a design, this is a double deck Warren type truss, and you can run the simulator. So if I click this up here, and you can see it, sags under its own load and red is under compression blue is tension and so you're gonna have to think back to which is balsa wood better for and then i can click on the design here and now it gives me my test results so i can take a look at my weakest compression member if i click over on this and scroll whoops there we go uh, so that means bar number 68 is the weakest one. So if I click on this, it shows me that is the weakest under compression. And your bridge is only as strong as your weakest member. So that, um, I want to try to get that value down. And my weakest tension member looks like it's this one right here. And when you saw the design, that probably makes sense that that was the case. So you need to keep those things in mind and um, think back to where is balsa strong and which one you want it to actually... Uh, um, be the lowest possible number. A couple of the things that you can take note of when you're designing is um, leave this at carbon steel, solid bar, 140 by 14. If you want to get more detailed or, or within smaller increments, you can change it to this or even this grid here. And now I don't need to put it exactly on this spot, but I can put it slightly lower. I can put it, it looks like a quarter of a meter down. These are all in meters. So that gives me a little bit more um, flexibility. Now, one uh, other thing to note is that if you do the arch abutment, you're only gonna have an eight meter ceiling. But if you do the 20 meter with standard abutments, you're gonna have a 12 meter ceiling. So um, it the reason for that is because with the standard, you can go up, but with the arch abutments, you actually get that extra four meters um, down below the deck. So I can show you that really quick, and then I'm gonna let you design your own. So you have four meters here and eight above, so you get the same 12 meters to design um, no matter which one you do. And your overall width should be the same as well. This is a 40 meter width, and if we do it in the other option, it is too. So go ahead and um, make your choice on which type you wanna do, and start making your designs, and then we will take a look and see how well your bridge stands up.